I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make a watermelon bomb and this is what it looks like. This is made with both frozen ices and ice cream. So what we have is we have the green outer skin, we have the white rind, and then on the inside we have the pink or red watermelon, uh, the flesh. So um, for this dessert, we obviously need a mold to make it into that shape. So you will need an eight cup, 1.9 liter metal bowl. And of course, the biggest challenge when you're making this type of dessert is to get it out of the bowl. One way, I mean, I'll show you at the end how to get it out, but one way to make it a little easier is I like to line the inside of the bowl with some plastic wrap. You don't absolutely have to do this, but if it's the first time, you may want to do this. So what I do, you will need a, a large piece of plastic wrap and to make the, um, to get it to stick to the bowl, what I do, you can either lightly oil your, uh, the inside of your bowl or I just sprayed it with one of those nonstick sprays and then take a large piece of plastic wrap. You want enough so that it kind of overhangs and then just fit it in to the inside. Now it will wrinkle, do not worry about that. I will show you at the end how to fix that, but just, and if you have some air bubbles, just kind of lift it up and form it in there. And now what you need to do is put this bowl in the freezer until it gets nice and cold, you know, maybe like a half hour, of course you would do it longer. So just like that, put it in the freezer. And when we come back, we will start our watermelon. So to start our watermelon bomb, we, the first layer is the green outer skin. We are going to use today a lime sherbet. Um, you will need three cups, 720 milliliters, which equals 525 grams if you want to go by weight. Now, whenever you buy, I'm using commercially made uh, frozen ices, and there is air in that and what we want to do is get some of that air out of there so if you have an electric stand mixer like i have here use your paddle attachment you can use a hand mixer or really what you also could do is just do it in a uh, large bowl with a wooden spoon because one this is kind of hard and it would quite uh, frozen so it would be hard to spread it onto the inside of our bowl unless we soften it up a bit so we have to do, that's one reason. And the other reason is to get some of that air that is in the manufacturing process is whipped into your frozen ice. So I'm just going to put this, I mean, I'm only going to beat this maybe 10 seconds on medium low speed. That's it. <laughs> So if you saw what it started like now, it's nice and soft, much easier to spread. Now I know some people I've seen recipes for, for this that use a pistachio ice cream. That's another choice, but I really like the lime. It's, it's so refreshing, the flavor of it. So just dump it right in there. And then I'm just taking a spoon. And as best as you can, just kind of spread it up the sides. Now, if at any time, you know, as you work this, it, uh, this, it can get very, um, start to melt on you. You could put it back into the freezer, just let it get a little hard and then take it out again and then, you know, rework it. But that's one of the reasons why we, um, put our bowl into the freezer to get it nice and cold because it gives us a little longer working time here. So I'll just, like I said, if it, you can kind of get it as best as you can, put it into the, free, the freezer. We are going to have to freeze this layer. We want to get it nice and solid before we add the next layer so that the layers don't like melt into each other. And I find between each layer, you will need probably, you know, it depend on how cold your freezer is, at least 30 minutes, but I think probably an hour is about, is more what you'll need between layers. So 
It's not difficult, but it does take a little time. So that looks pretty good. Just smooth it out as best as you can. And then I'm just going to put this into the freezer. Like I said, get it nice and cold, probably, probably, probably an hour, I'm going to say now. And then when we come back, we'll put our next layer. So now for our next layer, we are putting in the white rind of the watermelon and we're using vanilla ice cream. I, again, I'm using commercially made. It is quite hard. So we need to soften that plus get rid of some of that air that has been beaten into it. So I'm just going to put it into my bowl. Or like I said, you could just use a uh, wooden spoon for this and it's going to beat it. As you can see, after I beat this, I have less ice cream than what I started with. So, there we go. So now, take, as you can see, it's nice and, nice and hard. And like I said, at this point, even you can kind of smooth it. If you find it's too rough or it's not like an even layer, you can just kind of, um, smooth it out a little more at any time and then we're just going to put that in there as you can see this is not difficult it just takes a little time to do each layer but not hard so now i'm just again spoon and and of course you could make your own ice cream make your own sorbet if you want but i'm making this easy this is such a great summer dessert on a hot day. Oh, people will just love it. Okay. A friend gave me this recipe, I would say 30 years ago. So this watermelon bomb recipe has been floating around for a long time. So there, it's pretty even. So again, I'm going to cover it, put it back into the freezer, probably for an hour. And then when we come back, we will fill in the center. So now for our third and final layer of our bomb, we are going to fill in the center with the red flesh of the watermelon. Now you have two choices here. You can use either a raspberry sherbet, which is what I'm using, or you could use a raspberry sorbet. The difference between the two is the uh, sherbet has either milk or cream and sometimes eggs to it. So you have a uh, very rich, creamy and very um, smooth texture to it. Or conversely, if you want to use a raspberry sorbet, that is made with raspberry sugar and water. So it, the texture is more grainy, like an ice. It, well, it is an ice. And, but it has a really, I think, more intense raspberry flavor. So either one, a lot depends on your availability at your grocery store. Uh, another thing, if you want to cut the fat content of this dessert, you probably would want to go with the raspberry sorbet. But up to you. So now you will need, we're going to again use, we're going to use four cups, which is 960 milliliters or 700 grams. And like I said, today I'm using the raspberry sherbet. And four cups is one quart. A lot of times they go by that and they label the containers. All in there and because raspberry or raspberry um, watermelons sometimes have seeds although you can now buy seedless I am going to add three tablespoons which is about 30 grams and I'm going to use mini little mini chocolate chips <laughs> kind of cool and it adds a little bit of a crunch if you can't find the mini you could just use regular because the seeds can vary in size in a watermelon so first, I'm just going to soften this just a bit. Okay, it's 
getting there. Then, like I said, I'm adding three tablespoons, about 30 grams. You could add more, add less. But that's a good amount, I think. Okay, looks good. So you always, if you, you need a little more, you know, if you have an eight cup, which 1.9 liter um, container, you usually need to start with a little more of your ice creams and ices because, you know, the air that is, when we beat it, taken out. So always better to have a little extra on hand just in case you need to run out so there we're just smoothing that out and we're done you know what I like too is you can make this ahead of time and you know leave it in the fridge for quite a while and then so it's a good make ahead dessert so now we're going to put this back into the freezer and we really want it to get really firm before we try to un before we unmold it so I uh, often, what I like to do is uh, at least, say, eight hours. Most of the time, I just leave it overnight. That way, I'm, I know it's, re it's really cold. But I would say at least eight hours. So there we have it. So when we come back, I will show you how to unmold our watermelon bomb. So we are now ready to unmold our watermelon bomb. I did forget to tell you how much vanilla ice cream you will need. You will need one and a half cups, which is 360 milliliters. So to unmold, take your plastic wrap. You will need a serving plate. I did put this into the freezer for about 10, 15 minutes, just to get it nice and cold. And what I'm going to do is just make it like that, flip it over. So now, if you have a hair dryer, this it's because what we're going to have to warm up the outside of our uh, metal bowl. I'm just using a um, hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, you could take a cloth, dip it in some hot water, wring it out, and and put it over the over the uh, metal bowl. Or you could even very carefully dip this bowl in hot water. But I'm just going to use my hair dryer. I think it's I think it's gonna come off okay there we go so that's what you do and then peel back now of course you will get you did have a hot hair dryer on there you will get some melting and as you can see from the plastic wrap you have some bumps if you don't like that then just take you know back of the spoon or a spatula and then you can just kind of smooth it out Go around like so, and until you get it how you like it. And then typically what I would do now, because of course with the hot hair dryer it has warmed up the lime sherbet, but in the interest of time I am going to cut into it so we will see what happens. So just use a sharp knife and cut down. And then just to clean my knife off, I have some water here, just dip it in and a cloth, wipe it off. And but what's great, like I said, you could make this several days ahead of time if you're having company. So let's see if I can get this out now. First piece is always the hardest. Okay, pretty good. So there we have it. Like I said, you might want to put, before you slice it, you might want to put it back into the freezer, get it nice and firm for an hour or two at least. But there we have it, our watermelon bomb. I think it's so cool looking. So let's try a bit. such a refreshing 
flavor. You get the, I like the tang of the lime and the vanilla ice cream, nice and rich. And then the raspberry sherbet, or if you're using our sorbet, really nice. A nice flavor. I really like this flavor com combination. Plus, it looks so cool. As you can see the inside kind of did a little bit of a mess cutting it there. But try this one. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joyofbaking.com.